Your call, please. Uh, hello. I've been trying to call Murray Hill 40098 for the last half hour, and it's been busy. Now, I don't possibly see how it could be busy for that long, so can you try that number for me again, please? I'll be glad to try that number for you. One moment, please. I don't see how it could be busy for all that time. It's my husband's office, you see, and he's working late tonight. And I'm all alone here in the house, and I've been feeling so nervous all day. Ringing Murray Hill 40098. Hello? Hello, is Mr. Stevenson there? Hello, hello. Hello? Hello, George. Yes, this is George speaking. Um, who is this? What number am I calling, please? I'm here with our client. Oh, good. Is everything okay? Is the coast clear for tonight? Yes, George. He says the coast is clear for tonight. Okay, okay. Where are you now? In a phone booth. Don't worry. Everything's okay. Very well. You uh, know the address? Yes, I know. Let's see now. At 11 o'clock, the private patrolman goes around the corner to 2nd Avenue for a beer. That's right. 11 o'clock. And be sure all the lights downstairs are out. There should only be one light visible from the street. Okay. Okay. What's that? Just a minute, George. Oh, our client tells me at 11.15 a train crosses the bridge. It makes a noise just in case a window is open and she should scream. Okay, I understand. That's 11.15 the train, eh? Yeah. Do you remember anything else, George? Yes, I'll make it quick. As uh, little blood as possible because our client does not wish to make her suffer. That's right. You'll use a knife? Yes, I'll use a knife. It'll be okay. Then afterwards, I'll remove the diamonds and the bracelets and the jewelry from the bureau drawer because our client wishes it to look like a simple robbery. Don't worry. Everything's okay. I know. <laughs> Your call, please. Operator, I don't, I, I've just been cut off. What number are you dialing? Well, you see, I was supposed to be calling Murray Hill 40098, but uh, some wires must have got crossed, and I was cut into a wrong number. And, oh, Operator, I've just overheard the most dreadful thing, something about a, a murder, and, well, we simply have to retrace that call at once. We, we have to. Murder. And now. Oh, I know it was a wrong number, and I had no business listening in, but, but these two men, they were cold-blooded fiends, and they are going to murder this woman at 11.15 tonight. And we just, we have to stop them. What number are you dialing? It doesn't matter what number I was calling. This was a wrong number, and you dialed it for me. And we've got to find out what it was immediately. What number did you call? Oh, why are you so stupid? What, what time is it? Do you want to tell me that you can't find out what that wrong number was just now? I'll connect you to the chief operator. Oh, I think it's perfectly shameful. Now, now look. Look, it was obviously a case of some little, little slip of the finger. I told you to try Murray Hill 40098, and you dialed it, but your finger must have slipped, and I was cut into some other number, and I could hear them, but they couldn't hear me, and, and I simply failed to see why you couldn't make that same stupid mistake again. Uh, can't you try to dial Murray Hill 40098 for me in the same way? Murray Hill 40098. I will try it for you. I'm sorry. Murray Hill 40098 is busy. <sighs> Operator! Operator, you didn't try to get that wrong number for me at all. I asked you explicitly, and all you did was dial correctly. I am sorry. What number are you calling? Oh, can't you for once forget what number I'm calling and do something for me? Now look, look. I want to trace a call. It's my civic duty. And it's your civic duty to trace that call and apprehend those dangerous killers. And if you won't... I will connect you with the chief operator. Well, please! All this talk can't, can't make anyone understand. This is the chief operator. Oh, oh. Chief operator, I want you to trace a telephone call. Immediately. Now, I don't know who it was, or where it came from. But it's absolutely necessary that it be tracked down, because you see, it was about a murder. A terrible, cold-blooded murder of some poor, innocent woman, tonight at 11.15. I see. Can you trace it for me? Can you track down those men? 
Well, I'm not certain. It depends. It depends on what? It depends on whether the call is still going on. If it is a live call, we can trace it on the equipment. If it has been disconnected, we can't. Sorry. Disconnected? If the parties have stopped talking to each other. Oh. Well, of course they must have stopped talking to each other by now. I mean, this was nearly five minutes ago, and they didn't sound like the type to make a long call. Well, I could try tracing it. May I have her name, please? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. And your telephone number, please. Oh, Plaza 32099. But if you go on wasting all this time... Why do you always call Tracy? Why? Uh, no reason. I, I, I immediately felt very strongly that something ought to be done about it. I mean, these men sounded dangerous. They're killers. It, well, I thought that the police ought to know. Have you reported it to the police? Well, no. Not yet. So you want this call check purely as a private individual? Yes, yes, but meanwhile... I'm sorry, Miss Stevenson, but I'm afraid we couldn't make this check for you and trace the call just on your say, so... But, but... As a private individual... Why... We have to have something more official. Oh, for heaven's sake! You mean to tell me that I can't report there's going to be a murder without getting all tied up in this red tape? Wait, it's perfectly idiotic. Well, oh. all right, all right, I'll call the police. I'm sure that will be the best way to deal with. Ugh. Ridiculous! Never, never heard of such nonsense. Uh Your call, please. Police department. Get me the police department. Bringing the police department. Police department, precinct. 43, Sergeant Martin speaking. Uh, police department? This is Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson of 53, that's 5, 3, North Sutton Place. And I'm calling to report a murder. Yeah. Well, the murder hasn't exactly been committed yet. I just overheard plans for it over the telephone. Over a wrong number that the operator gave me, and well, I've been trying to track down the call myself, but everybody's so stupid, and I guess in the end you're the only people who could do anything. Yes, ma'am. It was a perfectly definite murder. Two men were talking, and they are going to murder some poor woman in a house near a bridge at 11.15 tonight, and uh, are you listening to me? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. And there was a private patrolman on the street. He was going to go around for a beer on 2nd Avenue. And th th there was some third man, a, a client, who was paying to have this poor woman murdered. And th they were going to take her rings and her bracelets and, and use a knife? Well, it's unnerved me dreadfully, you see, and I I'm not well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I see. When was all this, ma'am? About eight minutes ago. Well, uh, then, then, then you can't do something. You do understand. Uh, what's your name, ma'am? Uh, Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. And your address? Uh, 53. It's 53 North Sutton Place. That's near a bridge, you know. The Queensborough Bridge. And, uh, we have a private patrolman on our street. Yeah. And 2nd Avenue is... And, uh, what was the number you were trying to call? Uh, Murray Hill 40098, but that wasn't the number that I overheard. I mean, Murray Hill 40098 is my husband's office. Mm -hmm. He's working late tonight, and I was trying to reach him to ask him to come home. And, yes. Uh, I, I'm an invalid, you know, and it, it's the maid's night off, and, and I hate to be alone, even though he says. Yeah, well... As long as I have the telephone right here beside my bed. Well, we'll look into it, Mr. Stevenson, and check with the telephone company. Oh, uh, the telephone company said that they took that they couldn't check the call. The parties have stopped talking. I've already taken care of that, you see. Oh, you have? Yes, yes, and personally, I feel that you ought to do something more immediate and drastic than just check the call. I mean, what good does checking the call do if the parties have stopped talking? By the time that you've tracked them down, they'll have already committed the murder. Yeah, we'll take care of it. Don't you worry. I say the whole thing calls for a search, a complete and thorough search of the entire city. I'm very near the bridge, and I'm not very far from, 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 from Second Avenue. And I know that I would feel a whole lot better if you sent around a radio car to this neighborhood at once. Well, what makes you think the murder is going to be committed in your neighborhood, ma'am? Uh, well, I, uh, I don't know. Only the coincidence is so horrible. I, I mean, 
Second uh, Avenue, the Patrolman, the bridge. Yeah, well, Second Avenue is a very long street, ma'am. You know how many bridges there are in the city of New York alone? Not to mention Brooklyn, Staten Island, and Queens, and the Bronx. Oh, I, I know that. How do you know just a little house on Little Second Avenue you've never heard about? How do you even know they're talking about New York at all? But, uh, I heard the call on the New York dialing system. Well, maybe it was a long distance call you overheard. No. You know, telephones are funny things. Now look, why don't you look at it this way. Supposing you hadn't broken that telephone call. Supposing you got your husband the way you always do. You wouldn't be upset, would you? Well, I... I suppose not, but... but it sounded so inhuman, so, so cold-blooded. Well, a lot of murders are plotted in the city every day, ma'am. We manage to prevent them almost all of them, but a clue of this is kind of so vague. It isn't much use then, no clue at all. But, but surely you could... Unless, of course, you have some reason for, th for thinking this call was a phony, or somebody was playing to murder you? Me? No. No, it just, I mean, why would they? I... I'm alone all day and night, and I, I see nobody except for my maid, Eloise, and she's a big 200-pounder. Yeah. And she's too lazy to bring up my breakfast tray. Mm -hmm. And the only other person is my husband, Albert. He's crazy about me. He adores me. He waits on my hand and my foot, and, and, mm -hmm. and has le scarcely left my side since I took sick 12 years ago. Yeah, well then, there's nothing for you to worry about. Just leave the rest of this to us. We'll take care of it. Well, what will you do? It's, it's so late. It's nearly 11 now. We'll take care of it, lady. Uh, well, will you? Broadcast it all over the city and, and send out squads and warn your radio cars to watch out in suspicious neighborhoods like mine. Lady, I said we'll take care of it. Now, uh, I got a couple of matters here on my desk that require my immediate attention. So, uh, good night, ma'am, and thank you. Oh! You! You idiot! Ugh. Oh. I wanted to hang up the phone like that. Now who think I am a fool? Why doesn't Elbert come home? Why, why, why doesn't he? I'll try the operator again. Operator, would you try that Murray Hill 40098 for me again, please? I can't think what's keeping him so long. I will try it for you. I'm sorry, the line is busy. I will try. Oh, you don't have to tell me it's busy. I can hear it. <sighs> I could just get out of this bed for a little while. I could get up and look out the window and get a breath of fresh air and see, see the street. And uh, why, why won't Albert come home? Hello? Hello? Albert? Is that you? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, what's the matter with this telephone? Hello? Why, why are, are you calling me? What is, hello? <clears throat> What's the matter with this phone? Just... Hello, operator? Your call, please. Hello, operator. I don't know what's the matter with this telephone tonight, but it's positively driving me crazy. I, I've never seen such inefficient, miserable service. Now, now look. Look, I'm an invalid, you see, and I'm, I'm not supposed to get annoyed, but, but if this keeps on going much longer, I... Oh. What seems to be the trouble? Well, everything is wrong. I, I haven't had a single moment's satisfaction with any phone call that I've made this evening. I, the whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And, and now my phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing every five seconds or so, and when I pick it up, there's no one there. It's I am sorry. If you will hang up, I will test it for you. I don't want you to test it for me. I want you to put that call through, whatever it is, at once. I'm afraid I cannot do that. I... You can't? Why? Why may I ask? The dial system is automatic. It... <sighs> If someone is trying to dial your number, there is no way to check whether the call is coming through the system or not. Ugh. Unless they complain to their particular operator. Oh, stupid. 
And meanwhile, I got to sit here, listening, suffering every time that, that phone rings, imagining everything. I will try to check the trouble. Well, check it! Check it! Where are you, man? Oh, what's the matter with... What's the, what's the, what's the use of talking to you? You're, you're so stupid. Oh. Oh. I'll fix her. How dare she speak to me like that? How dare she speak to me like that? I... Your number, please. Young woman, I don't know your name, but there are ways of finding you out. And I'm going to report you to your superiors for the most unpardonable rudeness and insolence that's ever been my, my privilege. I, oh, give me the business office at once. You may dial that number direct. Dial it direct? I'll do no such thing. I don't even know the number. The number is in the directory, or you may secure it by dialing information. Listen here, you... you What's the use of talking to you? You're so stupid. I, I'm going out of my mind. I... Hello? What do you want? Who is this? Oh, do you realize that you're driving me crazy? What, what are you trying to do to me? I, uh, who is this? I, you know, if you do not stop calling me at once, I'm going to call the police. Do you hear? The, the police! Oh, oh. Oh. Only Albert would come home. I... Let it ring. Let it go on ringing. If it goes on ringing all night, I won't answer it. I won't answer it. It stopped. Why did it stop ringing all of a sudden? I, what, what, what time is it? Where is it? 5 to 11. They've decided something. They're sure I'm home. They've heard my voice answering. That, that's why they've been ringing. I got to get that operator. Hello, operator. Oh, where is she? Why doesn't she answer? I. Uh, Your call, please. Where were you just now? What? Why? Why didn't you pick up? I. G give me the police department. I'm sorry, the line is busy. I will call you in. Busy? The, the, the police department can't be busy. That, that's impossible. The, 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 there must be some other lines. I. The line is busy. I will try again later. It, no, no. I, I, I've got to talk to someone now. It may be too late. I, I need to talk to. What number do you wish to speak to? There must be some other lines available. Some, some, some other way to. Other people to, pro to protect people besides the the police department. I. A detective agency? Uh, uh, you will find agencies listed in the classified directory. I don't have a classified, or at least I, I'm too nervous to look it up. I, I don't even know how to use the book. I, I will connect you with information. Perhaps they'll be, they will be able to help you. Oh, stop it. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, hello? What do you want? Just to stop ringing me. Will you, will you stop? I... Is this the five three two zero nine eight? Uh, yes, yes. This is Plaza three two zero nine nine. This is Western. This is Western Union. I have a telegram here from Mrs. Albert Stevenson. Is there anyone there to receive the message? Yes, I, I'm Mrs. Stevenson. The telegram is as follows: Mrs. Albert Stevenson, fifty three North Sutton Place, New York, New York. Darling, terribly sorry. Trying to get you for the last hour, but lying busy. Leaving for Boston at 11 p.m. tonight on an urgent business. Back tomorrow afternoon. Keep happy. Love, Sign Albert. Okay. Do you wish to deliver a copy of this message? No. No, thank you. Thank you, madame. Good night. Good night. No. No. He couldn't do it. He, he, he couldn't do it. it. It's some trick. It, it's some trick. It has to be. It has to be. Try the, try the, try the operator. Your number, please. Operator, would you try that Murray Hill 40098 for me j just, just once more, please? You may dial that number direct. <laughs> Four, oh, oh, nine. Good 
you? Oh, could you? N nobody knows I'll be all alone all night. Oh, I if I am alone one more second, I'll, I'll, I'll go mad. I, I don't care what he says or what the expense is. I, I'm a sick woman. I'm entitled to some consideration. I see the information. May I help you? I want the number of Henchley Hospital. Henchley Hospital? Do you have that street address? No, no, but it, it's somewhere in the 70s. It's a very small, private and exclusive hospital where I had my appendix out two years ago. And it's, it's Henchley. H-E-N-C-H-L-Y. One moment, please. <sighs> Hurry, please, and please. What is the time? We may find out the time by dialing Meridia 71212. Ugh, I... I I have no time to be dialing. I... The number of Henshaw Hospital is Butterfield 89970. Henshaw <sighs> Hospital, good evening. Give me the nurse's registry. Who is it that you want to speak to? I want the nurse's registry. A trained nurse. I want to hire her for the night. Immediately. I see. What is the nature of the case, madam? Nerves. I... I I'm very nervous. I, I need soothing and companionship. Have you been recommended to us by any doctor in particular, madam? Uh, no, but I really don't see why all this is necessary. I, I was a patient in your hospital two years ago, and after all, I do expect to pay this person for attending me. We quite understand that, madam, but these are war times, you know. Our registered nurses are very scarce just now. Our superintendent has asked us to send people out only on cases where the, where the physician in charge feels it is absolutely necessary. Well, it is absolutely necessary. I, I'm a sick woman, and I'm very upset. Very, very. And I'm an invalid, you see, and I, my husband is away, and tonight I overheard a, a, a very upsetting conversation. A, a woman is going to be killed when a train crosses a bridge, and if, in fact, if somebody doesn't come get me right this moment, I'm going to go mad! Well, I'll speak to Miss Phillips as soon as she comes back. And what is your name, madam? Uh, uh, Miss Phillips, and when do you expect her to come in? I really couldn't say. She went out to supper at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? It's not 11 yet, I... Oh. Oh, my my clock has stopped. I I thought it was running down. It, what what time is it? Just um, fifteen minutes past eleven. What was that? What was that? That that clicked just now. In my own telephone. As though someone had picked up the extension telephone. In the kitchen downstairs. I didn't hear it, madam. Now about this nurse. But uh, I did. I did. This the, the, there's someone here and. They're listening. They're, they're listening. I won't pick it up. I won't pick it up. I won't let them hear me, and uh, I'll be quiet. And and they'll think that. Oh, but if I don't come get someone now while there's still time, uh, I must get that up later. Your number, please. Operator. Operator. I'm in, I'm in desperate trouble. I, I'm sorry. I cannot hear you. Please speak louder. I don't dare speak louder. There's someone listening. There's, there's someone. Can you hear me now? I'm sorry. But, but, you've got to hear me. You've just got to. I, there's someone in my house and they're going to murder me and you've got to get in touch with the police. I, there it is again! You, he's, he's, he's put down the extension phone. He's coming up, up, up the stairs. He's... Oh, hurry, please. Oh, give me the police department. One moment, please. I will connect to you. Please, please, please hurry. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh. Police Department, Precinct, 43, Sergeant Martin speaking. The police Department, Precinct, 43, Sergeant Martin speaking. Hello? Oh, uh, Police Department? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Must have gotten the wrong number. Don't worry. Everything's okay.